another day another video guys hello how are you my name is Lucas and this is my video vlog we are having a beautiful day here in LA let's start this video with one question have you done something healthy for yourself today if not that's all right because you can do with me 100 push-ups just stretch the chest get some oxy oxygen into our body and talk about rhinos yeah let's talk about white rhinos uh, who knows something about white rhinos? Jack, do you know something about white rhinos? I know, they got big head like you, but that's it, right? Okay, so, funny fact about white rhinos. They honestly supposed to be white rhinos, white. But probably thanks to the guy like me, someone with broken English, they misunderstood the original translation from Dutch and <laughs> some smart ass call them white rhinos so that's why we call them white white rhinos are one of the main species of rhino and they are separated into two subspecies the northern and southern white rhinos they can be they can weigh between two to four pounds for between two to four tons they have two horns their heads are really really big they are grass eaters they got really really well developed sense of smell from all of that species they are most social so they are kind of friendly kind of they are beautiful heavyweight tanks with big hearts <laughs> okay Due to their size of head, their brains are pretty small, but don't get me wrong because they are still beautiful and smart animals, right? Right, Jack? It's just like something like you. Okay. So, southern rhinos are pretty well established or not. It, it's still pretty bad, but it is not same situation as northern white rhinos. Some of you probably already know that one week ago we lost our last male northern white rhino which is pretty sad. His name is Sudan. Rhinos. So female rhinos they can reproduce only once every two and a half to five years and during their pregnancy they can only bring one cow, one baby rhino. The baby rhino must stay with their mom for another three years. And this is a huge problem in the world of rhino because the poachers they always pick the rhinos with horns which means adult rhinos and if you kill the mother you know guess what, what guess what was gonna happen with the baby right it's gonna be probably eaten by tigers lions hyenas. so this is right now for rhinos I'm gonna still finish it with Sudan but right now Let's do some push-ups. So it's a beautiful day. Push-ups are good for you. They stretch your chest, makes you feel stronger. What I want you to do today, if you are watching this video, tell yourself some number. It can be 20, it can be 40, it can be 200. And just do it. Just accomplish that number of push-ups and do it for yourself. Start doing small steps in your life to get healthier to be more stronger happier you know so let's do it let's do it do you think can i how many can i do right now how many can i do how many how many how many how
One week ago, the world lost the last male northern rhino. His name was Sudan. He died at age 45. And it's devastating because only what he left behind him are two females, his daughter and granddaughter, Najin and Fatu. Those females are located in Kenya, in National Park, which is guarded by soldiers, which also says a lot about us human beings, right? If we need to protect our wildlife with soldiers, something is wrong. Uh, Sudan spent most of his life in captivity. He belonged to zoo in Dvor Kralove, which is in Czech Republic where I'm from. It's a beautiful zoo. Uh, so he spent 38 years in captivity and in past seven years he was transported into Kenya in hope to reproduce him. Unfortunately, it didn't work and in his past 24 hours of his life he wasn't able to stand up on his back legs and people who loved him, people who he was surrounded, made final decision to put him sleep. Well, in this video I want to say thank you to all of you who had something to do with this beautiful rhino. He is symbol for whole world.